Hello and welcome to FYI Harford County. I'm County Executive Barry Glassman. Here's a look at my administration's upcoming events and news for you, the citizens we serve. Do you know an unsung hero in Harford County? We're looking to honor volunteers who enrich the lives of others through acts of kindness and concern. Maybe it's someone who makes quilts for soldiers and veterans or helps organize local food pantries. Nominations are open for the annual Harford's Most Beautiful People Awards. Nominees must live in Harford County, and nominations must be based on volunteer service. This year's Most Beautiful People will be recognized in October, hopefully at an in-person ceremony. Either way, we'll be singing the praises of community volunteers. So nominate your unsung hero today. Welcome to Swan Harbor Farm in Havre Grace, a 531-acre park with breathtaking views of where the Susquehanna River meets the Chesapeake Bay. Swan Harbor's colorful landscaping and charming manor house make it an ideal setting for an outdoor waterfront wedding. Couples can truly make it their own. The outdoor tent can be arranged any way they choose by the caterer of their choice. The bride and groom can get ready indoors before heading outside for the ceremony and stunning photos. But Swan Harbor Farm isn't just for weddings. Crops are planted along the drive, and the rest is wide open with room to run or enjoy a picnic any day of the week. Visitors can walk the brick path down to the waterfront. It's a perfect spot for fishing from land, in a boat, or anywhere off of Lee's Pier that extends 300 feet into the bay. Hike the trails through the woods. Look for native species of birds from the bird blind, or watch as members of Swan Harbor Remote Control Club fly their model aircraft. Whatever you choose to do at Swan Harbor Farm, you're sure to enjoy the tranquility of this beautiful Harford County Park. It's easy to get involved in fun activities through Harford County Parks and Recreation with our online catalog and registration. Start the little ones early in soccer or lacrosse, or hike with the family along one of our nature trails, looking for different types of flowers, birds, or animals. You can find all our upcoming Parks and Rec programs on our website, scrolling down to the Parks and Recreation tile, and then clicking on County Programs on the left. In the upper left corner, sign in, or if you're new to Parks and Rec online, create an account, which will require an email and other information. Scroll through programs for adults and seniors, teens and kids, on nature and the environment, sports and fitness, water excursions and more. Click on a program to see more details. When you see one you like, click on the participants and add it to your cart. Continue shopping for more fun activities and programs or simply check out. Answer questions, sign a liability waiver and click confirm. Continue to payment where you'll agree to terms and conditions. Then enter your personal information, including payment. On the next page where you'll see confirmation of your payment, be sure to hit the continue button to complete the process and get your receipt. Then all you have to do is show up and have fun. This is the story of how science students at Homestead Wakefield Elementary found a problem at their school and worked with our Department of Public Works to solve it. Rainwater runoff was causing severe erosion along the basketball court and sending sediment into the local stream. The students brought the problem to the county and helped develop the solution, a rain garden, which is a landscaped area that captures and treats pollutants in stormwater runoff. Here's how it works. The top level of soil and plants in the rain garden absorb the pollutant, while the gravel layers store excess rainwater as it's slowly absorbed into the ground. An underdrain in the garden prevents water from sitting too long and damaging the plants. In especially heavy rains, the overflow pipe handles rainwater that the garden can't hold. A layer of mulch is placed on top to reduce weeds. Fourth and fifth graders at Homestead Wakefield each planted different perennials, including native grasses and flowers. As you can see in this time-lapse video, now when it rains, the rain garden fills up and slowly drains while limiting erosion. For more information on the Homestead Wakefield Rain Garden or other watershed projects, visit Harford Streams on the county website. 
Welcome to our segment called Inside Department Heads. Each month, we pick the brain of a director in county government for insight on what they do for you. This month, we're talking to Joe Semick, director of Harford County Department of Public Works. Hi, Joe. Tell us something we might not know about your department. Well, we rely on seven different weather forecasting websites in order to prepare for an incoming storm. And everyone knows how difficult it is to forecast weather in Maryland. Well, we have to be able to predict when it's going to start two hours before the storm, storm hits. And that's because we have, that's about the time it takes to mobilize the 150 men and women and vehicles and equipment uh, that are necessary to cover the thousand miles of county road and 200 bridges. So what keeps you up at night? DPW employees work in some very dangerous conditions. Some work on the side of the road. Others are in utility trenches. Some are in underground vaults and manholes. And also some work with some potentially very hazardous chemicals. So what I want is that all of those men and women go home to their families at the end of their shifts. Okay, tell us what you're most proud of. I'm proud of the dedication of our employees to design, build, operate, and maintain all of that county infrastructure. Roads, bridges, water, sewer, storm water, uh, solid waste, uh, environmental protection, all of which are essential services for, for the entire county. And I'm also very proud of how we were able to maintain that commitment to that service throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. Last question. Can you give us the bottom line in five words or less? Look anywhere, see Public Works. Thanks, Joe. To learn more about the Department of Public Works, visit the county website at harfordcountymd.gov. That's our news for this month. Thanks for watching FYI Harford County. Keep in touch by following us on Facebook and visiting the county website. Until next time, be safe and be kind to every kind.